Street ball as a kid was the truth box. If you had weaknesses, they were exposed. If you were really good, everybody seen it. We had a street ball court right off the of Sheriff Road in Fairmont Heights, Maryland called the Kingdom. It was right around the corner, so all the cars would stop and watch us play when you were at the light. If you made it on the Kingdom court, you were pretty good. I had my fair share of being the last cut, having to wait my turn. That was very, very humbling. The highest level of street ball was playing in New York City, playing in Rucker Park. One of my guys from back at home, White Chocolate, he's a street ball legend around our area. He texted me and said, they bumping up the rucker slim. Do you want to play? And I was like, ah, I'm, I'm in Oklahoma at the moment. I probably won't get there in time. But I was like, you know what? Let's just see if we can make it. I hopped on the flight in an hour straight from the plane to the park. I didn't let anybody know I was coming up there. New York is so small. They could just yell down the block and say, yo, KD's here. And that's what it felt like, because I remember I just put my shorts and jersey on and my shoes, and I look up, it's packed all the way over the gate. They playing loud music, and we've seen people in the high rises across the street turn their lights on and open their windows. It was just like something out of the movie. I knew White Chocolate, and I knew a couple guys on the team. The trash talk is just on another level. So when you're a pro, like, you can't just play well. It's like Floyd Mayweather boxing against a younger fighter. You gotta dominate. In an NBA game, they're just as good, so they can just use their physical strength and skill to kind of match. But out there, you gotta find an edge somehow. Those guys down on the record, they don't have a physical advantage or a skill advantage. So they try to use the mental game, and then everybody in the crowd is back in their hometown. Our team is from DC, we play the New York team. So everybody was against us. Everybody was talking trash to me. I couldn't go out there and just play cool. I had to elbow somebody and scream in his face or, you know, get the crowd pumped. I had one and back rimmed in and then I ran down and then the second one just went straight in. I was like, caught a rhythm now. And then after that, I was just shooting from anywhere. I mean, I had four threes in a row and 10 or 15 young kids running jumping with me and 20 adults. <laughs> I'm seeing the whole crowd running on the floor. That much love at one time was a lot. It was like a quick burst.